Hey everyone, this is Tom with the Green Dot Group. Real excited to get to share with you today one of my favorite topics within the design thinking process, and that is empathy mapping. Before I dive into empathy mapping, I wanna talk about some of the previous steps that the design team has taken in order to arrive at this point within the process. So a key input into empathy mapping is a collection of all of the observations and conversations that the team collected by going out and interacting with customers. Again, keep in mind, as they go out and do these observations and host these conversations, it's not always just customers of an organization that they're interacting with. They could be talking to prospective customers or past customers or even customers of competitors to get a variety of input and insights and different perspectives about maybe a particular product, process, or service, or another topic that's of interest to the design team. So as they go out and they've completed their field research, they're coming back and they need a way as a group to synthesize all the good information that had been collected from those observations and those conversations. And the empathy map is a great tool to support the team in doing just that activity. So the empathy map is a visual tool that invites the team to collaborate in unpacking all of the information they gained from their observations. This tool is facilitated best by having maybe the group who made the observations or hosted the conversations kind of be the presenter. And they're really just disclosing everything they heard. And the rest of the design team is listening to this group as they unpack their findings and they're using post-it notes and sharpie markers they're really just capturing some of the details of the exchange after they've told the story so the interview team or the group who did the observations have told the story to their peers and they have captured as many notes as possible they're ready to start to use the empathy map visual tool to begin synthesizing all that information so one of the first sections, and probably the easiest section for the team to complete, is the saying quadrant. The saying quadrant is direct quotes, things that were said or heard during the conversations and observations. The next quadrant, we're going to move down from the saying quadrant and go into the doing quadrant. The doing quadrant really helps to unpack information about two things. One would be the context of the story, so the activities that were occurring in the experience that the customer decided to share with the interview team or that was observed by the observing team. So that's one part of the things that are categorized or captured within the doing section. The other thing would be the behaviors of the customer during the interview, so tone of voice, uh, body language, other elements like that that were observed uh, also go in the doing quadrant. So we're on uh, the left side of the map here and we're looking at the saying and doing. And these are relatively factual things that did occur or were heard. As we move over to the other side of the tool, we're gonna to cross over what's called the line of inference. So these are things that are inferred by the team. They weren't necessarily said by the customer, but are something that the group believes is true about the customer's mental model, so how do they think, and then also about the emotions or the feelings that the individual experienced during whatever that event was or that story was that they were telling. So we're going to start with the thinking quadrant. That is in the upper quadrant here. And again, things that go into that quadrant are the motivations or the belief systems or the mental model of the customer and it's really trying to understand what is their point of view about that exchange and then the last quadrant is the feeling quadrant and what we're trying to capture here are the emotions of the exchange and the experience that the customer likely had in the experience they shared so as all this information is unpacked, you're likely to begin hearing some key themes or some interesting findings about this person's story. And that's another important thing to capture as a group as you unpack these interviews, and that is also documented on the empathy map. The empathy map 
is a very useful tool for visualizing your customers' needs, their beliefs, their experiences, and their motivations. And with this information, the team can really connect to and understand the customers in a better way. And with that increased understanding, they're able to move to the next steps of problem solving and generating and creating solutions on the customer's behalf.